Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back with chapter 2 of the E's Origin playthrough. Yeah, b uh, I've uh, we've uh, finished this game, by the way, before. For those who are new to the channel, hey, he hi, hello. Welcome to the channel. This is actually a chapter 2. We're actually halfway in uh, the E's Origin playthrough, so... Uh, Word to the wise, I'm gonna reflect on my, uh, on what happened on my first playthrough. I'm gonna express, uh, you know, things that I've found. I'm gonna reflect and talk about it. So, uh, if you are interested uh, in uh, seeing how things ended with Unica's playthrough, I recommend that you actually, uh, you know, I always would always recommend that you play the game for yourself rather than actually watching it on the internet. Uh, but if you can't do that, uh, feel free to watch uh, my playthrough or any other playthrough. You know, if you actually want to know exactly what happened to to Unica and her story. For those uh, that are familiar with this uh, game and my uh, pre previous Let's Play, welcome, welcome back. We are going to start a new playthrough here. Uh, with another character. I actually was considering starting with Tall, with this guy, with this claw character, which is, uh, he really comes as a m really mysterious uh, character. There's a lot of questions that still the game still hasn't answered yet, viewers. Uh, uh, you know, this guy warning us about Towel. Uh, uh, this guy warning us about Hugo. Uh, the uh, the origin of the Darklings and uh, and uh, and a lot, a lot else. A lot, there's a lot of things that the game still hasn't uh, answered. We'll probably find these answers uh, uh, when we start a uh, a playthrough with one of these characters. And I decided to actually start with. Hugo. This time, I'm gonna assume that every uh, that the game is, will mostly play uh, the same. Uh, like we'll be facing the same enemies, the same uh, the bosses. The only difference is going to be uh, the uh, the few differences are going are going to be you know the character interactions uh, and of course the playstyle of Hugo himself uh, compared to Unica. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start Chapter 2 of E's Origin, the story of Hugo. Uh, I have actually I've actually uh, considered uh, going through it with easy because I'm mostly interested in the narrative but I will roll with normal. I also um, uh, kind of wanted to start uh, playing as Towel uh, as Tall briefly, you know, off screen. But I decided to hey, I'm gonna make my uh, my experience with that character fresh as possible while recording uh, the game. And by the way, this is gonna be the same intro, I assume. But I'm not seeing anything else. This is the same intro, which is... It is, uh, you know, spoken in French. Silver metal. So Clary is actually silver, huh? That actually reminds me of the first game. Didn't Ease, the first Ease, uh, had, like, uh... You play in a kingdom that was rich in uh, silver, and uh, the monsters actually came down from there. So yeah, this game actually kind is kind of true to still uh, keeping it keeping it you know true to that fact that 
the uh, the silver and the black pearl is actually the source of all evil. Also, I did confirm, viewers. I've uh, I've done a little bit a little bit of research once I finished uh, my playthrough with uh, with Unica, and uh, the final boss for the first game is uh, actually going to be a fact, one of the descendant of uh, Hugo, and you know, of course, and one of the six priests. So. Huh. Would love to see how things uh, transpire. Maybe we'll learn how things uh, came to be. How. Uh, how a descendant of the six priests uh, went through the, uh, the path of evil. There's also the question about the uh, the miniature black pearl. How would Hugo actually get access to it? Um, uh, we might be uh, we might be uh, playing uh, as the uh, as potentially the uh, an evil character here, viewers. <laughs> I'm really interested in finding out. I'm really interested in finding out. Anime intro? Yeah, I think I, I've, I think I've said that before, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Goddamn. Deja vu. Deja vu. Welcome everyone. Welcome to Ease Origin. Chapter 2. Hugo, you should go to the surface as well. You are to determine the whereabouts of the goddesses and bring uh, them back safely to Solomon Shrine. With the eyes of fact by your side, this should not be a difficult task. The eyes of fact. But there is something else you must do as well. Huh. 
and it will not be quite so easy. Oh, Hugo has had his own mission. Yeah, so uh, we're, I'm gonna assume that we're going to... Everything will conclude the same for Hugo. It's gonna be... Uh, it's definitely going to be, you know, just... Gonna, it's gonna be... We'll be seeing things from a different angle. So... Uh, so it appears that... Uh, Hugo uh, has his own mission as well. Other than locating the goddesses. Ugh. Looks like I made it to the surface, and I'm still alive. But what just happened? Did the transport spell fail? No, it had to be something more than that. Also, viewers, there is one thing that I actually noticed in the... Uh, in the intro here. We noticed that when uh, Dallas interrupted the teleportation spell he actually had the he actually had the black pearl with him or some sort of pearl at least he had something i'm gonna assume that it was actually the black pearl and he used it to uh, to interrupt the uh, the teleport spell how the hell did he know that the, these guys are coming down there there's still uh, one uh, question that the game uh, Still, uh, uh, still haven't answered yet. An impact like that was not the result of a mere accident. Is that? Is this gonna be the other tree? Or is it, is it gonna be the same tree that we've uh, seen before? Indeed, it's a Rhoda tree, a tree with a soul, born of the goddesses. I suppose that explains why uh, this is the only place around uh, that's not thick with poisoned gases. Still, it's a miracle this tree has managed not only to survive, but to thrive all this time amidst such uh, desolation. Yeah, how 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 did it how uh, much time did it actually pass? After the floating of uh, of the uh, of the shrine, a year, two, three, a decade, two, three. I'm not gonna. S I don't think it's gonna be centuries. It's probably, it's probably, uh, ish, definitely shorter than a centuries. Much shorter. The game uh, didn't say that. Young man. The voice. Broda, is that you? Indeed. I'm one of the twin Broda trees given life by the goddesses. You are from Ease, are you not? Yes, that's right. My name is Hugo. Hugo Fact. Oh, a descendant of House Fact. That explains the power I sense from you. It's been many years since I last, uh, since last I spoke. When well, it was my brother, perhaps around 50 or so? 50 years? 50 years? I guess that answered the question. 50 years? Uh, that doesn't sound right. That definitely doesn't sound right, but because I don't think uh, I don't think Hunica and the others are actually like oh, maybe he's mistaken. Maybe I've read that wrong because uh, that was I've read that fast. I don't mean to be rude, but I really don't have time for idle chatter right now. I'm here in search for Lady Rhea and Lady Fina. Have you seen either of them? They vanished without a trace from Solomon Shrine a few days ago, and no one's uh, heard from them since. The goddesses? Yes, I did catch sight of them. About three days ago. Maybe it was 50 days. 
Maybe it was indeed 50 days. So they were hanging around uh, up top there for a... Uh, for uh, a month and a half? So it's true then. They came down to the surface. Do you know where they went? And if they are alright? I cannot answer the later question, I'm afraid. The latter question. But I do still sense their presence, Alibi, faintly. There can be no doubt they are inside the Foul Tower. The Foul Tower? Oh, yeah. It's definitely the other tree, because uh, if I remember correctly, uh, the tree should have been to the west side uh, from us. To the east side from us, I'm sorry. Now, uh, this tower is uh, to the... Uh, it's uh, to, the uh, to the west side. To the, uh, to the west from our position. Cool shot, though, still. <laughs> I was afraid you might say that. That tower is said to be a uh, veritable nest of demons. A veritable nest of demons. What the hell could those two want in a place like that? You're going after them, then. It says that your companions are not far from here. Perhaps you should blah blah blah. No, I must go now. There's not a moment to lose. If the others come here, please let them know uh, that I've gone to the tower. Tell them that's uh, where the goddesses can be found. My my. Such an impatient lad. But then, he is of the fact line. I just hope my worries are uh, for naught. For the fact line? What does that mean? Oh shit, look at all that budget! I thought the annex would fall. <laughs> it looks like something that would fall. It looks like an area that it would fall eventually. Maybe in another Ease game. Maybe, who knows. Maybe it did fall in another Ease games. So we're here at the tower entrance. What's that? Hmm... Kind of the, the kind of the it's kind of the same start as the Unica. Curses! We're surrounded. Dino, Yolia, can you handle the beasts uh, on your side? I, I think so. We'll be fine as long as we can react, uh, can erect a stable barrier. All right, you two do your best to fend them off until I can jump in. I'll handle the demons over here as quickly as I can. What? Hugo Fact, is that you? Glad to see you in one piece, father. Yeah, that's not uh, actually his... His uh, father, that's, you know... You know, father as in uh, a priest, and a religious... Uh, a re a religious uh, priest. I'll take care of these beasts. You go help the others. Much obliged. Alright, you two. Let's take these uh, things down. Yes, father. Understood. Alright, we'll be playing as a Hugo now. How dare you, filthy beasts, tread upon our land. If power is what you seek. Oh, shit. I have uh, goddamn drones with me? Then allow me to introduce you to my eyes of fact. These are Hugo's uh, basic movements uh, and attacks. Uh, shoots bolts of energy in the direct uh, Hugo is facing. So uh, I'm gonna be your arranged uh, character, huh? 
Interesting. Jump leaps into the air. You, your direction may be altered mid-jump. Jump shot fires energy bolts in the mid-air. How can I stun the enemies then? Power shot. Attack immediately after coming to a stop. It's gonna be similar to the dash attack. God damn it. I really hate the, the dash attacks. Launch a more powerful bolt of energy. When it hits, it erupts into a column of light which uh, further damages the enemy in proximity. So it's an area of effect. This also randomly lowers the target's defense. Alright. Oh, it's a shoot! Uh, wow. I'm too good. It's a shmop! Boost mode. What is boost mode and how is it used? Uh, when Hugo's boost uh, gauge reaches uh, 100%, press uh, the boost key to active boost mode. Hugo Glow and his abilities will be temporarily enhanced. Well, I'm gonna summon uh, more eyes? Alright. The eyes effect will increase in number and their attack range will expand. Oh. Sounds really cheap. Defensive enhancements. Hugo will take only half damage uh, when hit by enemies. That was easy. <laughs> that was definitely easy. Huh. Is that all you've got? I'd heard there uh, were imposing creatures amongst uh, the invading demons, but it seems these were not they. Much appreciated, Hugo. Father Xion. And you two are... I'm Aeolia, an acolyte of Solomon Shrine. Thank you for your help. Aeolia and Dino. I too serve uh, in, as an acolyte. The name is Dino. Oh, so he's not a scout. He's an okay. He's an acolyte. All right. And you go fact. It would seem I've heard uh, a lot about you. They say you're magic. You're a magic prodigy. And from what I've seen here, I'm quite convinced uh, they're right. No, I'm still but a novice. At any rate, may I ask uh, why you three are here? And uh, where are the other members of the search party? I wish I knew. You wish you know why you you were here? I think you, uh, I think he'll explain that. All I can say for certain is that the transport spell which carried us here was interrupted. And yeah, uh, by the way, viewers, I am... Um, as boring as it may sound, I am not going to skip any line of dialogue that is actually repeated here. Uh, if I've actually read it and you know we've uh, we've witnessed it witnessed it uh, with the Un in Unica's uh, playthrough, I'm gonna read uh, everything out loud as if it's uh, the first time, and I hope I am not gonna get bored doing that. <laughs> Interrupted by the demons, you believe? Most likely, yes. Yuli and I were the ones controlling it. Then suddenly, out of the blue, the magical barrier which held us was uh, struck by some massive force. It caused such disruption, we could no longer hold the spell together. I see. And the attack came from this tower, I assume. It did. And that's why we're, in he uh, we're here. To get to the bottom of this. So, what of you? What brings you to this uh, accursed place? Ah, yes. Well, you see. Hugo detailed uh, what the Rhoda Tree had told him. What? The goddesses? Here? What could have compelled them to come uh, to such a dangerous place? So, that's the size of things, is it? This makes matters uh, more urgent. We must get in contact with the others as soon as possible. Can I leave that up to you, Dino? 
Y yes, father. I'll begin a search of the uh, parameter uh, of the parameter, starting with the Rhoda cheese. Damn, without a single hesitation. And what will you do? Given the welcome uh, we received, I think uh, prud I think it prudent to wait until the whole party the party's been gathered, then move out as a group. No, I believe it would be best if I were to go on ahead to and survey the area alone. If the rabble we just fought was the worst this tower has in store, I don't anticipate any difficulty. As you wish. But please do take this with you at least. Received. Crystal. Really interesting. I thought that Hugo would not need something like that to teleport, but I think no, 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 no. I think uh, he will actually use the, the crystal to purify the uh, the statues. So he's not going to be he's not necessarily he's not necessarily you know. Uh, lacking, you know, magic ability, he's, he's just doesn't doesn't know how to purify things, which I guess that makes sense. An item of magic? Allow me to demonstrate its power. Although I think it's, it's, it still doesn't make sense. Uh, Hugo should have no trouble using his own magic to purify these. Was this by, built by the demons? We had initially thought that to be the case, but it would seem not. Watch closely. Maybe it's high. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, high level magic, and you know Hugo is still young and he doesn't know how to do it. Shion took out a crystal identical to the one he gave Hugo. Oh, so he actually has a crystal. He he definitely need a crystal for that. I thought uh, he would do it, you know, uh, you know, using his uh, ability. The crystal's power purified the demon statue. It's a goddess statue. I suspect all the goddess statues left behind on the surface were uh, brought here, then cursed in a similar fashion. Why this was done, uh, one can only speculate, but there are likely others to be found in here. You should be able to use uh, that crystal to purify them, just as I've done uh, with this one. I see. That could prove uh, beneficial indeed, given the power of these statues. But that isn't the only magic the crystal holds, it would seem. Indeed not. It can uh, also be used to transport you instantly to the foot of any goddess statue. At least in that, uh, at least any that's been purified in this manner. I pray that it will be useful in your uh, reconnaissance. Understood? I'll be sure to make good use of it. Take this as well, Hugo. Received iPhone 11, I mean Lilia Shell. And this would be uh, for long-range communication, no? Yes, it will allow you to contact us, no matter where you are. I intend to give a, to to, go, to give one to each member of the search party upon our arrival, but obviously those plans were disrupted. Indeed, a very useful tool to have. Uh, though I will keep it safe. That's all. Then I'm going to head up into the tower proper. We'll be waiting here for the others. Come back if you find anything. And remember, the demons built this tower. So there's no way of knowing uh, what awaits us uh, here. Please, exercise caution. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and check in the items that we got. This is my, uh, my completion, my, uh, my, uh, my before the last battle, uh, <laughs> uh, 
save with Unica. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna save over all of these saves uh, outside of this one. Uh, I will still have the all of the characters. Yeah, I'm not gonna read uh, about any of these monsters or characters because uh, you know we've already met them. But any new uh, enemy will definitely try and uh, inter and interact with them. We definitely fought Dish Kishgal and never uh, read about him, so Kishgal, the Peerless, a Dark Link warrior confronted in the demonic court here. Having unleashed his demonic powers, he again stood before Unica. At the battle's conclusion, a satisfied smile slowly cracked upon his stoic face. Stoic face, not face. D uh. Dallas, the deranged. Yeah, viewers, as I said before, uh, I'm gonna spoil things here for things that happened the first playthrough, so uh, keep that in mind. If you don't want that, get out. Get out while you can. I'm gonna spoil things. Dallas transformed into the ultimate demon after taking control of the demonic essence, possesses immense magic power, and will annihilate all who oppose him but can never truly be satisfied, always uh, thirsting for more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and check on the other weapons. These are, these are gonna be the same, so I'm not gonna read about them. A wand, a sorcerer's wand, requiring requiring great skill and training to use. Fires bolts of energy from a tip. A leather tunic, defense plus eight. A long tunic made of tanned hides, pro popular popularly used for everyday wear. Uh, I guess that's only the only thing that we're gonna get here. I'm not gonna be able to dash. The goddesses are in this tower. I need to hurry to find them. Okay, fine, jeez. I'll be offering my assistance in locating everyone from here. If you get stuck at any point, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I'll do my best to help you figure out where you need to go or what you need to do. Can we talk to her now? I might as well uh, just talk to her directly while I'm here. <laughs> Divine blessing. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm gonna do the same. First thing first, I'm gonna try my best to get the uh, increased SP gain as fast as possible. After that, I'm gonna increase the uh, item drop rate. And after that... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna follow, uh, follow the same thing. Strengthen eyes effect. Oh, I'm definitely gonna use this. So I'm gonna go, go with, uh, with the increased SP. Then the strengthen uh, eyes effect, and then the increased it's, uh, item rate. Oh, and of course this, definitely, as fast as possible. Oh yeah, it looks like uh, the same. I'm gonna increase the same effects. Let's talk to Father Xion. Since the demons uh, built this tower, there's no way of knowing what awaits us here. If you ever feel you're in danger, do not hesitate to use the crystal and return to us. It could easily save your life. Alright. Let's go ahead and save. And we are going to continue and start our adventure. Uh, wow. 
Really? These guys are not gonna do anything to me? Hugo seems to be a really, really good viewers. <laughs> I'm kind of bland, if you ask me. Alright, we managed to break the seal. Uh, Challenge is to open this treasure chest that will contain. Okay, viewers, let me tell you something. For the last uh, of my playthrough of uh, Unica's uh, story, I've been calling this a Panakia. But the correct pro pronunciation is Celestian Panacea. And I remember that I've actually. Uh, I've actually uh, used uh, this. Uh, Word, but I'm not very familiar with the uh, you know saying panacea a lot, so I tend to forget how to how do you actually pronounce it. But uh, yeah, it's panacea. Sorry for triggering for uh, triggering uh, most of you viewers. And get wrecked. <laughs> welcome to this. Uh, welcome to the to the channel. Welcome to uh, to have a nice day's channel. We're gonna pronounce uh, a lot of English words. Uh, uh, really, really. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna pronounce uh, English words correctly. I'm trash in English. Me no habla ing uh, me uh, no habla English. Uh, one thing is uh, that's actually annoying with uh, Hugo is that his uh, his. Uh, He's really slow. His movement is really slow. Alright, so uh, this is gonna be another artifact. Uh, the, uh, it's gonna be the first artifact that we're gonna obtain. Strange, this appears to be uh, one of the uh, sacred artifacts of ease. But why is it here? Either way, it is better off with me than it is with the demons. Acquired Cerulean uh, Flabulum. A surge of power burst uh, forth from the artifact. Hugo was uh, was granted the use of the Force Shield skill. Force Shield? Why are they showing Unica here? <laughs> Artifacts of Ease bestow mystical skill upon their bearers. Active skill will launch various special attacks. Uh, overcoming obstacles. Certain skills can be used uh, to negate magical traps or active... Uh, or activate mechanisms, opening uh, up new paths. Exploiting weaknesses. Some enemies are invulnerable to, mo to most attacks, but crumble under the might of certain skills. Okay. Uh, wind skill. Hugo's force uh, shield encases him in a buoyant bubble of protective energy. Uh, skill effect. Generates a powerful shield uh, around Hugo's body. To use the Force Shield skill, simply equip it, uh, then activate it in-game with the skill key. Buoyancy. When the Force Shield is active, uh, gravity will have less pull on Hugo, allowing him to glide gently through the air. The Force Shield will uh, dissipate after a set amount of time has passed, or if uh, struck once by an enemy. Struck once. Okay. Interesting. 
Skill charge. Uh, charge your skill to erect a double strength force shield capable of absorbing two strikes from an enemy. After obtaining at least one emerald, press and hold uh, the skill key for several seconds to charge, uh, then let it go, uh, then let go to release. Impressive, I wasn't expecting it to hold so much power. Perhaps this uh, contraption was built to harness the power in some way, or siphon it. I doubt it's uh, only one of its kind in here. I'll have to keep my eyes open for any others. Ah! My movement speed is gonna be still the same, but... I'm gonna be able to float. Yeah, it's gonna be annoying trying to... Oh, look at this. It actually uh, requires a lot of MP, so I might actually uh, uh, invest in uh, getting MP. Oh shit, 14? That's a lot of uh, damage. Should've just uh, mashed, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm not liking uh, how fast he runs. Well, you know, I'm not liking the fact that he's really, really slow. And he is really, really slow. Oh, I don't need to dash. It's more consistent with the... It's more consistent with the Hugo. Just, uh, press, uh... You know, press a direction. Uh, release it and immediately attack. So we'll get this, uh, quote-unquote dash attack. I can't do it while jumping, though. Interesting. Of course. I'm gonna try and go through the uh, Hugo's uh, story as fast as possible. By the way. Because I'm only interested in the, in the narrative. Alright. So I can attack normally, and if someone's, uh, you know, gets near me, I can uh, easily, uh, you know, push him away from me with this war, with this attack. Yeah, this uh, door is locked, so I need to find a, uh, a key. Why am I only ha- Oh, the eye can get stuck? That's... Not good at all. <laughs> Son of a... And uh, level up. Well, that will uh, replenish my already oh, increasing my already depleting burst.
Uh, what the? Yeah, same thing that happened to us with the Unica. Where am I? Hmm. Must have been uh, a teleport trap. Can't believe I walked right into it. But the fact that a trap was even set uh, at all means... No, there's no sense dwelling on it. I just need to make my way back to that room. And then find uh, some means of countering the spell long enough to get through. Okay, so we've reached uh, yet another save point here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna increase my armor. I am going to strengthen the eye of facts. The eyes of facts. Mm. Not before I get the increased SP gain, definitely. Increase the stationary heal rate. I I don't need it. It's worthless. Just the damage of the terrain. But yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna prioritize getting the SP gain, of course. All right, let's go ahead and continue. I'm uh, still used to to the fact that. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not used to to how slow Hugo is. There's a per peculiarly shaped uh, depression in their altar. Yeah, there we ha we need to find something here to. We need to find an artifact that we can place there. I'm not uh, used to, to the way he plays. You're dealing with the uh, with aerial feature is gonna be a pain. I should be using this at all times. Does it actually counter him? Mm. Oh, you were blocking my way, you stupid fool. 